What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. I want to do another video in the Solar Basics series and talk about voltage. Uh, one of the most important things that you can understand when you're working with solar is about electricity and more specifically about Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law talks about voltage, current, and resistance and their relationship with each other. So let's take the first piece this time and talk about voltage. The definition of voltage is the difference in charge or potential between two points in an electrical field or a circuit. So in other words, uh, you can call it electromotive force, electrical potential, difference in charge, or potential difference. They all mean the same thing. When we talk about voltage, current, and resistance, it's easier to understand by imagining a water pipe connected to the bottom of a water tank. Water flows through the pipe due to the pressure from gravity pushing down on the water in the tank. This pressure is the voltage. The higher the pressure, the faster the water moves through the pipe. By the same token, the higher the voltage, the greater the speed and force with which electricity moves through a wire or a material. Okay, so how do you measure voltage? Voltage is measured in volts, and you can measure it with a voltmeter like you see in this picture, or a multimeter. To use a multimeter like you see in this picture, um, you take the red probe and the black probe, the black is negative, the red is positive, and you put it on the terminals of a battery or um, on the leads of a solar panel or whatever you want to test, and that will tell you the, the pressure or the voltage um, in volts that exists in that circuit. So what does this have to do with solar? Well when you're looking at the power characteristics of different devices like this sticker on a solar panel you need to know what it is that you're looking at you're going to need to make sense of these figures and you may get confused if you don't understand voltage you'll see on this uh, the VMP listing on this is is 17 and a half almost 18 volts that's very typical for a 12 volts uh, solar panel most of them are actually 18 volts Okay, so why is it 18 volts? Well, if we go back to the analogy of the running water, uh, and we know that voltage equals pressure, then in order to put electricity into a 12 volt battery, we've got to have a higher pressure. Because uh, if the pressure is the same, electricity is not going to flow. So the 18 volt solar panel will have a higher pressure and will push power into the battery. Another thing to think about when you're um, talking about voltage and solar is that each of your devices whether it's a charge controller or an inverter or whatever will only work within a certain pressure range a certain voltage range so if it gets too low if the pressure's too low the device won't be able to operate and the same if it gets too high so a 12 volt uh, typically um, with a charge controller like this you're probably looking at between 11 and 13 volts somewhere in that range Okay, so there's the basics of voltage. Uh, next episode, we'll move on to current, and then, like I said, we'll wrap up with resistance and tie them all together with Ohm's Law. Thanks for watching.